Here we are again, YouTube. Seven blades as opposed to eleven. Same problem. Low RPMs. It's not as windy, so I'll leave it up there, give it a better chance. But we're gonna have the kilo kilowatt meter. Okay, I got 1.27 kilowatts in 306 hours. Not very good. So what I wanted to do is find a different way to get the RPMs up there and I wanted to go with a 2 to 1 gear ratio. I asked Jason Brown about it. He's another guy on YouTube that sent the solar and he pointed out a video by Ian, a guy in Europe who has a 3D wind turbine. Look it up on video, very interesting turbine. It kind of, the wind hits the pole first but it's got a unique design where if the wind is too strong, it'll actually lift up. Oh, pretty neat. Well, I got a different problem. My problem is low winds. See, it's... <laughs> I mean, those are wasted RPMs. So, I got my new 48 volt for my second pole. And what I did is... Take you over here made a modified turbine. Now this one's chain driven unlike Ian's who's got a belt driven one. I don't want to use a belt because belts slip. Um, when they do they squeal. So I put a chain on there. It won't slip. And it's got its other advantages. It's probably going to be more noisy and it's going to rust. But on the flip side, a box of chain is like 10 bucks. So if I have to replace the chain every year um, out of a box, I could probably do it say three or four times. And I won't have to take anything apart. Um, in making this, I had to get the blades away from the PMG. And I had to get the sprocket as close as I could. You'll notice there's two 11 blade plates on there and I had to cut out the outer plate so the nut would still fit on. <laughs> well, in spinning it around when I did it, I had a problem with the blades hitting. So you'll see I had to grind away part of the blade. Alright, I guess this avoid all warranties but not a big deal. I'm into fabricating. This is a hobby to me. Hobbies cost money. And that's why I just used another PMG on the top. I took out the stator. And instead of building my own rotor, which I could probably just mount it on top of the pole, um, but I didn't want to do that because I had, with an extra set, all the parts I really needed. Or so I thought. I had to get the the sprockets of course and then the bottom one you can see in there I actually had to turn down an alternator pulley to get it to fit on the bushing that comes on these PMGs but if you look at her she will spin by hand a little tough I think she'll work The only thing I have to do yet is put my RPM meter on it. Um, in the back here I have a brace because I couldn't keep these plates straight enough. And then in the front I put another little brace to keep it from jumping up and down. Got to keep my chain at the right tension the whole time. Straighten her out a little. She spins pretty good. I'll take this apart so you can see what it looks like because I gotta throw the 48 volt PMG on there anyway. Here she is apart with the blades off so you can see her better. Nothing new on this idea here. Um, top sprocket has 40 teeth, the bottom has 20 teeth. And the bushing that comes with these PMGs fit perfectly in the 
the hole that, that was in the plate, all I had to do is weld it to the bushing. The bottom one was the one I had to machine down an alternator pulley and weld that back on there also. You can see the difference in the offset. Very close on everything. Grinding down the blades kind of sucked, but it kind of makes me wonder if I should have went with a, my own rotor on top. So I wouldn't have to worry about that, but it is what it is. Maybe it'll inspire someone to try it. Or maybe they have tried it, I don't know. I haven't seen any on uh, YouTube or anything like that. But um, as far as pulling the stator out of this new PMG, that was uh, pretty hard to do. I actually had to pound a knife to start splitting the case. They're pressed together so hard. That's after I pulled the screws out, of course. But I got her out, and she's sitting over here on the table. Skewed stator. You can't buy these by themselves. You only have the, uh, the straight ones that cog. But anyway, I'll get her up on the pole and we'll see what she does.